I'm Jason from Securecom. I just want to do a quick demo video of our HKC wireless alarm system. So I just go through what we have here. The first part we have is the H what's called the HKC Quantum 70. So this is a fully wireless control panel. Um, built into this is a GSM unit, a backup battery and an internal sounder and obviously the keypad on it. So this unit is generally, uh, is generally put in somewhere central in a house or a premises that uh, is easy to get to from your entry exit door. So that's the main control panel itself, the full uh, keypad on for setting and unsetting with the keypad itself. Then we've got a number of different devices. So to start with, we have our standard motion sensor there. They're generally fitted throughout the house, the premises. Um, we have door contacts and shock sensors. The two of them look identical, um, but they effectively do the same thing. The door contact, if you open the door, uh, it reads the sensor and that's what uh, starts your entry tone or goes into alarm if it's on a, a full activation. Shock sensor is the same thing with the addition of a little barrel um, that will detect uh, shock vibrations. So generally put on the likes of patio doors and um, uh, windows. Uh, this is a, wi a wireless panic button. So uh, very straightforward, double push panic button. So all that happens is that we can fit this unit anywhere around the house. Wireless, a little battery, and no more than everything else here. Uh, we can fit it wherever it is around the house and just press down the two buttons and the alarm will go off. Um, so that's uh, that's the panic button. Then a couple of bits we have up the top. So wireless smoke detector. We can also get these wireless uh, heat detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. So if the uh, smoke detector or the heat detector, carbon monoxide detector go off, as well as similar to a standard uh, detector, that it will ring locally here in the internal sounder built into it. It'll also ring at the control panel then. And if the alarm is self-monitored or monitored, it will activate through to either send a message to yourself if it's self-monitored, or if it's fully monitored, to go through to the monitoring station where they will action it. Um, then we have our external bells. These come in a wired or a wireless version. So this is the wired one here that we're looking at at the minute. Um, they look identical, um, but uh, the wired ones, generally speaking, if we can get a cable to, um, to the bell that goes outside, we will. Um, and then just to the right of that, then we have a, a small little internal sounder. So this works very similar to this. There is a, a built-in uh, sounder in the main control panel itself. But uh, if we have a larger house or a larger premises, we'll generally try and fit a, 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 an internal sounder somewhere else around uh, the premises just so that the um, just so that the sound will get around better. Um, so that is, uh, that's all the devices really that, that we have. There's a number of different ways of setting the alarm. We can set the alarm using the code on the, the keypad here. So we just have our code set up here. System. Put in your code, the alarm starts to set. Okay, we'll just put it in again to stop System. it to set. Um, we also have a key fob, which can be used to set and unset the alarm as well. So this is a little remote key fob, so we can use that. There's a number of different buttons on it. We can press to set, unset, uh, and there's also two different part sets as well on the system. So we have a full set, which is setting the entire premises. Uh, if we do a part set, what that is, is we can set that up to be whatever you want. So if it's a house, um, we can have it that all of the downstairs is set. If, if you've got a two-story house, if you've got a bungalow, we can set uh, separate living areas while you're in bed at night. So that will uh, allow a large portion of the uh, house to be set. Um, there's also a duress button built into this. can be very, very handy, especially if you've got um, elderly residents at all. That Press and hold that button. It works the same way as the panic button itself. There's also a an app that you can download that uh, through the GSM unit here, you can set and unset it remotely, you can check the logs, you can check the status of the system at any stage. I'll do a separate video on the on the app itself. Um, but if you have any questions at all, you can give us a ring. Our landline number here is 0917 um, I'm Jason Small, thanks for your time.